Hey everybody, this is Ori from OneScales, and this channel is here to share knowledge for you guys so you guys can learn, be more efficient, contribute, and be better online, save energy, save time, save etc. This video in particular is a tip on security and privacy. Many of you have uh, have a, a Google account and you want to go to websites and you want to log in with Google, you want to share some information in your Google, you want to be more efficient. For example, I'm on the Canva website and uh, I just have a personal account. I want to log in instead of logging in with my email. I want to just log in with Google. It's, it's quicker. It's faster. I click, I log in, I can use my site, my system. That's it. Um, the downside for that is when you do that, you always enable these websites to get some information about you. In, for example, your name, your profile picture, your email, your phone number, et cetera, et cetera. Sometimes there's also things like birthday and other. So this video is a security tip for you guys to once in a while review which websites you have shared information with and you can decide if you want to not share with them anymore or you can re-review what information you gave to them and also mod modify it. This video in particular is for Google login but you can do other things with Facebook and others. Um, so let's let's review it. So when you do this, when you do continue with Google for example, you'll be able to log in and you share some information. So how do you review that? Uh, and how do you decide what to, to remove, okay? So the first thing uh, you want to do is you want to go to your Google account, google.com, right? You want to go to google.com. You can go to your Gmail, your google.com, any, any Google, and then you can click here on your profile on the top right-hand side, and you can click on Manage Account. When you click on Manage Account, I just opened it right here, it's going to take you to the home right here on the Google, myaccount.google.com, and you're going to click on Security right here. So when you click on Security, you're going to scroll down. You see I'm already at the bottom of the page. And you're going to look at this section called signing into other websites. You're going to click here on signing in with Google. Now here's a list of all kinds of websites that you've signed in with. And you can click on each one one by one, for example, Canva. And you can see what information you've shared. For example, I've shared my basic information. I can see, I can sh I've shared my email address and my personal info and that's it. Now if you have if you've shared more information, it'll share it here. So you can know which website you've shared with, what's the URL, and what information. And if you don't like it, you can just click here, remove, and, and remove it. And the less websites have your information in general, that's better. Okay, and also if it's, if it's suspect, you're not sure, you don't remember the site, just remove it. This is better to give uh, external websites less of your data and know exactly who you're sharing data with and what type of data, for example. Okay, that's it. That, that's the video. That's the tip. You should do this regularly. Um, I probably do it about once a year. I look around. Uh, I remove access. And uh, that's it. It's a good security tip. It's a good privacy tip to share less information online because, as you know, everything's shared. Uh, and businesses have a lot of access. So, uh, and businesses get hacked and things like that, right? So your information gets leaked all the time. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about this or anything else on the channel, let us know. We respond to comments and we're here to help you guys and share a lot of information online. Thank you guys.